By the end of this video, I intend to expand your definition of the word universe. I will use aspects of string theory to describe how the universe as we know it may operate like a piece of software. I want to use Minecraft to visualize how creatures living in a digital world would perceive their universe and compare that to our own experience. Now we could use any game or software, but Minecraft provides an elegant parallel to our own world, so it's great for simplifying otherwise complex issues. Issues such as extra dimensions, multiple universes, and dark matter. But let's not get ahead of ourselves and just start at the beginning. The very beginning. The Big Bang. The birth of this universe as we know it. Right now, most people believe that everything created in the Big Bang encompasses all there is. But I find this an incredibly naive viewpoint. When we could only see the Earth and the sky, we thought that's all there was. When we could only see the Milky Way, we thought that was all there was. Now, we can only calculate what was created in the Big Bang, but is that really all there is? Or is that just as far as we can imagine at the moment? Well, in order to imagine anything outside of our universe, we need to start thinking in extra dimensions, since the three dimensions of space and one dimension of time are the only four that exist in our universe. As it so happens, string theory states that there could be up to 11 dimensions. It's possible, then, that other universes, complete with their own Big Bangs and space-time, could exist right alongside our own in a fifth dimension. Now, that can be hard to visualize, so let's use an example to make it easier. What would happen if you took the creatures in a game like Minecraft, added the mod to make them consume resources and reproduce on their own, split their code with each reproduction, and randomized their code a little each time? Over a long enough time, say three and a half billion years or so, these entities might just evolve intelligence comparable to our own, despite the fact that they live on a hard drive. They would be fully evolved to perceive and interact only within their own digital reality, spending their lives thinking that world is all there is. Given enough time, their scientists might propose that other universes could exist right alongside their own, not realizing that they're describing save files on a hard drive. I can hear the skeptic in you saying, okay, well, maybe it would be possible to create these beings, but would they really be called life? I mean, they're just bits of code, their brains are just zeros and ones, and their bodies are just rendered images of that code. But believe it or not, you can say almost the exact same thing about our universe. If string theory is correct, everything in the universe, including our brains and our bodies, are made up of one-dimensional strings whose vibration patterns determine what they are. For example, a string vibrating one way would be a photon, and a string vibrating another way would be a quark. This means that, if true, the world we see is no more real than the world in your computer, both universes are multidimensional projections of a one-dimensional language. Now here's where things get really fun. If you had multiple worlds running on the same computer, they could occasionally see hints of one another. For example, if a large event occurred in one world that bogged down the entire machine, members of the other servers might see that lag and consider it an anomaly with no known origin. As it so happens, we observe dark matter as gravity with no known origin. If string theory is correct, gravitons are the cause of this and they could exist as strings that aren't tied to any universe, explaining dark matter and proving that we're not the only universe around. If there really were digital intelligences living in a computer, not only would it be difficult for them to comprehend our outside world, but without physical bodies they wouldn't even have the senses to perceive it. They would probably go on assuming that their digital reality really was all there is. Perhaps the same can be said for us. Of course, it would be silly to believe that our universe exists on a giant multi-dimensional hard drive. If for no other reason than if basic concepts like space and time have no meaning outside of our universe, then certainly neither do advanced concepts such as life or computers. But this is a useful metaphor for contemplating our own perspective of living in a closed system. Like our digital life forms, we are beings created by our universe, evolved to thrive in our universe, and bound to our universe. But to think that our universe encompasses the totality of existence strikes me as incredibly naive. If history has taught us anything, it is this. The universe doesn't stop at the edges of our perception. 
Every time we think we know how big it is, a new discovery shows us that we were only seeing a small fraction. And yet, despite millennia of false beliefs, we continue on thinking our current theories are the exception to that rule. Perhaps, if we do find multiple universes and extra dimensions, even that won't be all there is.